What's up movie lovers? I'm Mike and this is Gotta Love Them Movies. So as you might be able to tell, I am not at home. Um, I am not at my set. I'm not sitting down. I'm out and about. I'm actually in London. Or to be more specific, I'm in Slough. Um, today, Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice hit theaters. Uh, I was on the plane all last night, so I wasn't able to go to the Thursday night showing. Uh, so now it's uh, Friday morning and I have to go see it. So why don't you guys come along with me? All right, guys, in the theater, um, they're posing the question, who will win? I think it's pretty self-explanatory. If you've seen the trailer, there is no winner. Um, I think it's, it's pretty safe to say. Again, if you've seen the trailer, they're gonna be hot and heavy in the middle of their battling, fighting, whatever, and then Doomsday is gonna show up, and Wonder Woman is gonna show up, and then everybody is magically on the same page. That's my prediction. Guess we'll find out. So I just came back from watching Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. You know what? It's okay. It's an okay film. Um, it does some things really well and it does some things really not well. Some of the things that I really liked about the movie, um, do you remember like three years ago when we heard that Ben Affleck was going to play Batman? Yeah, it turns out that's one of the best parts of the movie. Um, everyone was freaking out about this and saying, oh, Ben Affleck, he's gonna be so bad. He was actually really good. Um, the costume looked great, uh, his action, he had multiple versions of the costume. Um, it's really cool. He plays off the action very well. I don't know, I assume it's Ben Affleck's stunt double or CGI or whatever, I don't know, I don't care. It looked really well done. And some of the fight scenes um, were, were pretty cool. Although maybe not as epic as we had thought or hoped. Some of the negatives. Um, I've, I, I have to point to Jesse Eisenberg first. Here's the thing about Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. He works better. I, th I think his interpretation of Lex Luthor would work so much better if it was the Riddler. It doesn't make a huge amount of sense to have the Riddler be like, a, a, you know, a main uh, antagonist in a Batman v Superman movie. Having said that, the character that Jesse Eisenberg played was more Riddler-esque than it was Lex Luthor-esque. I don't know, it was just like a, a hipster Mark Zuckerberg hybrid. It was, it was weird. It was, I don't know. I mean, I get where they were going with this character, but it didn't really land for me. Mm. I think the biggest problem that this movie is suffering right now is story structure. Um, in the past, I've explained story structure as uh, you need like one main central idea or if you think about it as like building a house um, You have like multiple like like a few different posts um, And then you build off of each of those posts and in between each post you have small little kind of like smaller um, Story supporters other scenes in the film that help support that main idea or however main ideas you have. Hopefully you don't have too many main ideas. In a movie called Batman vs Superman, you really only need one main idea. Um, and they played that out pretty well, I will say, for the most part. Although they didn't support it very well. Lois Lane going off on her thing, it was kind of pointless to the overall story. Eh. I mean it when it first started and I'm not I'm not saying anything of what Lois Lane did or any first story in the film but 
when you did start to see some of Lois Lane's doings in the movie, okay, it kind of adds, at first you're like, what's happening? And then it slowly starts to add up and you're like, okay, I can see where this is going. But in the overall spectrum, it added nothing to the main story. It added nothing. So it kind of went nowhere and was pointless. Even Batman's beef with Superman. The whole premise that this movie is based on, and I'm choosing my words very carefully, is very quickly negated. Yup. That's all the more I'm gonna say. And it's really dumb. Beyond that, um, there's some really cool action scenes. Um, th there's, there's a few parts where Ugh! You really want to see Batman being the detective and they kind of sort of allude to this where you know he's chasing down leads on the internet and then he goes and does things um, and you think oh this is a really great incarnation of Bruce Wayne being the detective of Batman being the detective nope you get to see Batman do Google searches. There were some pretty interesting nods to other um, things out in the universe. Um, there's a, a very quick, you if you blink, you'll miss it. Um, there's a really quick reference to Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns. Very quick. Like I said, if you blink, you'll miss it. Uh, but you've got a, a quick nod to Dark Knight Returns. Um, a very quick nod to uh, Batman Mask of the Phantasm, <laughs> which kind of have to ask yourself, why is there a reference to Mask of the Phantasm? But there is. I will say another problem that this film had is that it suffered from too many characters. Let's lay them out. You have Superman, Batman, um, Wonder Woman. Lois Lane, Harry White, Jimmy Olsen makes an appearance. From rumors and uh, from interviews and things, we know that uh, Aquaman and The Flash make an appearance. Lex Luthor, Doomsday, Martha Kent, and there's a few others that will remain unnamed. So that's 11 plus characters in a film that we need to make meaningful screen time for. That's a lot. That's a lot. Um, plus this movie's two and a half hours long. I think runtime is 225 or something like that. And it's, whew, it goes on. There's foreshadowing in the film. Again, without giving anything away. There's foreshadowing in the film it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't mean anything. Some of it's really cool looking. I'm not gonna lie, some of it's like, whoa, that's pretty awesome. Uh, there's one particular foreshadowing sequence that's in the trailer. And that's all the more I'm gonna say about it. But it's really cool. It's really cool. You get to see Batman like tear it up and it's awesome but then you realize that it's a foreshadowing sequence that does nothing it doesn't go anywhere and it's meaningless it's stuff like this that is very frustrating when you go into a movie with such hopeful expectation you know I, I sit here and and I'm saying all these things that are wrong with it the end takeaway, it's a fine movie. It, you know, it will stand the test of time, I'm sure. Um, you know, 10, 15 years from now, people are going to look back on this and say, hey, you know, what a, what a groundbreaking film. It's the first time we've ever seen Batman and Superman on screen together. Great. Good for them 10, 15 years from now. Uh, this is 2016. I'm sitting here today and I'm saying it was an okay movie. It was fine. Um, 
Gotta Love the Movies is gonna give it three out of five. Ray, when someone asks you if you're a god, you say yes! It was an all right movie. Um, it's laying the groundwork for the DC Universe, so that's interesting. Um, I think it'll be interesting to see where this goes. I don't mind that it has a dark tone. I think that adds something very um, fun and creative. It's just that they're not going in a great direction. Batman v Superman had three years in production to wow us. And all we're getting is a, a fizzle pop. It's okay, it's all right. It's not a bad movie. It's not a bad movie. I need to be very clear about that. It's not a bad movie. But I think anytime that you explain a film by saying it's not a bad movie, you know, it, it kind of draws the line in the sand a little bit. So anyway guys, I want to know what your thoughts on Batman v Superman are. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Also, a quick shout out to my friends Abdi and company. Um, I saw you guys at the movie theater in Slough. Um, so what did you think of the movie? Specifically, Abdi, what did you think of Batman v Superman? I saw it when you were getting ready to go in. Uh, we had a quick little discussion. Um, so Abdi and company, what were your thoughts? I want to know. Let me know in the comment section below. Also guys, click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you want to subscribe to the channel, which I highly recommend that you do. And also share the video because this is fun and we should all have fun. Um, anyway guys, follow me on Twitter at GLT Movies. Um, if you want to read my movie blog, it comes out every Friday. Uh, this Friday will be one of my last reviews. Not forever, it's not permanent. I'm coming back, I'm gonna do more. Uh, but starting in April, we have a brand new film reviewer, Jeremy McClintock. I'm super excited to have him be part of the GLT Movies team. Um, you can find his reviews at the same link down below, um, starting in April. So, for now movie lovers, I'm out of here.